Hey everybody, Max here from Max Playground, and welcome to a Sims 2 speed build. It has been a hot minute since I did a speed build, so please excuse my random ums, buts, or moments of awkward silence. I am trying. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it has been a bit, but we're building a, um, a little island hut and or abandoned beach lot. I guess you could say it's essentially for my Isle of the Midnight Sun challenge and I did a cast video recently about that and this is the build that I mentioned in that video so if you did watch that video thank you and this is it. So yeah, um, so this is basically the lot that I talked about uh, the video that I had for it and if you didn't watch that video I'll kind of explain a little bit about it so that you don't have to go back and watch it if you're not interested. Um, it is um, the Isle of the Midnight Sun challenge is originally a Sims 3 challenge and it is one of the only Sims 3 challenges that I did do and enjoyed and actually completed. Um, I really really loved it in the Sims 3 and I was really upset when my computer stopped responding to the Sims 3. It just doesn't play very well anymore but I got seven generations in and basically what you do is you make a sim and you move them into or onto an island and on this island you it's basically like they're shipwrecked you can make it as any kind of story that you want or why they're on this island whether it be that they crashed or they you know decided to leave society and go explore and found an island like honestly there could be any story to it and I will definitely get into the way I kind of pictured my sim and their story I talked about it again in the cast video but I will tell you guys a little bit more again if you're interested if you want to listen to it if not just skip forward to the screenshots I don't mind but yeah um anyways uh so basically you move your sim to this island and you have them kind of um make any type of like any sorts of money that they can without having a job uh they can um they can paint they can make things they can garden they can you know stuff like that and um then they sell it and the purpose of selling it is so that they can make enough money to go on vacation or um in if you have a kid in your like maybe your first or second generation um you can have them um, go to university and they're allowed to go on vacation twice and allowed to go to university once that's mostly for sims things or they can choose between going to university or going to a vacation world and in the sims 2 basically you can send your teenagers to vacation uh, like to university if you don't really care about taking them on vacation but the purpose of that is essentially so that they can meet someone and bring them back to the island now you can play this any way you want in your story like for your if you're just you know if you don't really play a story based type of game then it doesn't really matter but if you do play like to play like a story and situation and why they why the sim is on an island you can play it in a couple of different ways so yeah um so basically this is a video just building a lot for that now I kind of sort of want to um I kind of sort of want to do some like maybe update videos or maybe even play this in stream so you guys can like when I'm live streaming so if that's what you guys are interested in please let me know I'm always interested to hear like thoughts and ideas about what you guys want to like what you guys really want to see on the channel um lately i've just been doing uh like uh, live streams and veronaville let's play parts because i've been super super busy uh, my personal life is kind of kind of really busy but at the same time it's not um i am entering into the last month of being a student so my I'm at intern at my internship. I recently had almost a month off because I'm doing it at a uh, an older an old folks home or a, a adult care long term care facility, and um, they were recently on outbreak and I wasn't able to go in because of insurance and liability issues and stuff like that. So I had a month off, but a lot of stuff happened in that month. Um, my grandfather passed away. Um, my boyfriend and I celebrated our five-year anniversary very recently. Um, a lot of just a lot of things and changes, and kind of coming to a full circle. My life is coming to a full circle, and there's a lot of decisions that I'm 
gonna have to make soon about where I want to like where I want to work or where I want to apply for some jobs after I get my diploma um, where I you know my boyfriend and I is living situation my boyfriend is also graduating and you know just things like that we're gonna be moving back to our hometown just you know it it's it's a weird feeling because I I can feel myself growing up if that makes any sense I can feel myself having to you know make really important decisions that are going to affect the rest of my life and it's scary but so exciting at the same time and I don't know if any of my viewers are in that position or have you know have experienced that but yeah it's a very interesting experience you guys might hear the dog in the background that's because my neighbor um we're not going to talk about her though <laughs> but um yeah um if you guys are distracted by that I'm really sorry I can't control the animals in this building but uh yeah um so it's just is really really weird what life has been throwing at me lately I just I feel like I'm on like the last couple pages of a chapter when you're reading a book that's kind of how I ex like explain it to people like I'm closing up a chapter in my life both my grandparents have passed away now my mom and I are you know really close my dad and I are working and putting our best foot forward to like you know be civil and me and my boyfriend have talked about houses and what kind of like you know where we want to when we want to buy a house and the things that we have to do to, in order to afford it and it, it's just really crazy and like I know I have a lot of friends that are kind of in the process of like they're getting married and they're having kids or they're buying houses and I'm like I've always felt kind of behind on it but now I'm like at that stage like I'm not having kids or my boyfriend and I aren't really we want to eventually get married but like we have we're we haven't really like you know decided on a date or a time or anything like that like you know but I'm still we're making really big and important decisions and it's scary and it's exciting and ah uh, yeah so basically that's kind of some of the things that I've been dealing with in my um, my life lately and uh, but I, I've tried to keep up with the streaming I, I've been enjoying it so much you guys and like I really just like want to say for those who do come to all my streams or those who come to my streams often enough and stick around and chat with me and you know or chat are super friendly with other people I just want to say thank you um, it really means a lot and I love the community that my little community that's growing on here on the channel I love when you guys come to hang out at the playground I find that so cheesy but <laughs> I say it anyways um, I love that you guys uh, you guys do come and you hang out and you interact with me and it's just it's really fun and um yeah i uh i i'm really grateful and the channel is growing and it's like you know i just i i it's almost surreal i i i guess that's how you could put it it's just really surreal but uh yeah um so i guess i'll tell the story of what i pictured this uh the sim kind of being in the situation kind of a bad segue into that but whatever whatever yay for awkward pauses i did warn you <laughs> awkward transitions um so yeah uh i think it, well i've kind of mentioned it in my last in like in my cast video my criticism video for this but if you haven't watched that i'll kind of just explain it again anyways so um i pictured my sim i don't remember her name for the life of me it's been a little bit since i have um really uh said anything or have, have really played the game any of this game anyways like this safe anyways um i pictured this sim um being in she was on spring break and she went on a cruise with her friends and the cruise ship it it crashed it had a malfunction it sank and she ended up on a lifeboat and she I know that people usually go on lifeboats together but it just happened where she got the first one and it like fell into the ocean and she fell and she was able to get into it and stuff like that and she doesn't know if her friends are alive she doesn't know if her friends um, you know survived she has no idea what happened to the you know what happened to what, what happened she has no idea and um, she came across like you know she found after many days of being in this lifeboat she came across this island that had some you know leftover things leftover hut she she salvaged a, like basically what she could from the lifeboat she ripped it apart and salvaged everything she was able to build stuff but the thing is with this sim is that she is kind of a socialite and she came from high society she was a you know a, 
a, a real little rich girl and she was spoiled and she never really had to experience this kind of suffering I guess you could say but you know she started like she started having feelings of wanting to leave that uh, like leave that society and go uh, like she's like longed for like a simple life for quite some time now but she just never had the balls to loot to leave it she never had any any like any guts to leave it until it was actually forced on her and um she found herself really actually enjoying the simple life the basics and living as she's living and you know she's grown an appreciation for it so she doesn't know if she really wants to be rescued but she is starting to get lonely and then the way i'm going to kind of play the whole in my in my mind the story that i'm kind of portraying um you know the way that she gets to go on like on vacation so to so to speak um is that you know somebody found her and uh somebody was in like you know if they people found her or not well a boat found her and brought her to the mainland and it's not exactly where she's from but they did bring her to the mainland and she was able to like where she gave her the ability to get in contact with people and stuff like that while she didn't want to let people think that she was just dead but at the same time she was afraid that if she you know decided to get a hold of everybody they would expect her to come back and in all reality she doesn't really she realized that she didn't want to come back she really longed for that life and she came to appreciate it and she basically went when she went to the island or when she went to the mainland she 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 meets someone she's gonna meet someone and this person kind of understands where she's coming from and you know they decide to go back to the island together and I know that's so cheesy but like that's just kind of the way I pictured it um you know and they live out their days and let their like have children and so yeah um this is usually I believe I don't know if I mentioned that earlier it's usually a five generation um let like challenge but uh when I played the sims 3 I played this in the sims 3 and I completed it I played it for like seven generations until my computer gave out so yeah I'm just like really well not really gave out until my computer stopped responding very well to the sims 3 as many people's computers have <laughs> but uh yeah i uh i just i really uh really enjoyed this challenge and i'm really excited to play it in the sims in the sims 2 uh i will leave a link to the blog or tumblr that i found it on or simbler i came across it through kiona i believe it's kiona or kioni one of their one of one of those one of her name I, I forget the name but it was something like that I came across it on her tumblr and uh, I I fell in love I was so excited so I will definitely make sure I link those um, those rules to like her rendition of the of this challenge and the sims excuse me in the sims 2 um, and then I will uh, link the original rules so if you are a sims 3 player you guys can play it in the sims 3 if you want to so yeah um i really i don't know i just i had a lot of fun building this i did it all while i was on skype with a friend of mine and it was uh, or discord or whatever when i was on discord with a friend of mine and i'm just really excited i was like building it and like thinking of things in my mind and then i was also watching um uh jessa the jessa channel i was watching her as well and it was just really fun um just imagining things and making up little tidbits and rules and like why she would have these items and like what she would use them for and am i the only one who does that like if you build when you, if you're a builder in the sims whether it be the sims 1 to the sims 4 uh, do you ever like just like place things that are completely unusable but yet you have like a whole story behind why you put it there and why it like looks like that or like I don't know I I do it's that's how I play my game or like that's how I build my build in my game I just like create these like just like backstories as to why she would have like that that scrap there or why she would have um you know the little the little rope with all the buoys from like there hanging up like it's for fishing purposes and that's what she uses to get fish and feed herself and stuff like that I don't know I just I really pictured that kind of thing and uh, I don't know, I just, I have, that's just kind of what brings life to my, to my, to my, like, my builds and why I love, like, I really love personalizing my builds and things like that. I, 
love adding details that like make something personal in bedrooms or in, in little little spaces but uh yeah um i'm currently building um up a neighborhood in my uh, in my live streams and um i just recently started and i'm so excited to add like those like little personal touches to my um to my builds and have your guys input on it like why maybe why a, like a story behind why they have a certain item or something like that like i just love adding that life to my uh my my gameplay <laughs> i am i am, am i alone on that like or, or does anybody else do that or i don't know but please let me know what you guys think and if you are interested in um playing this challenge yourself let me know uh the creator who made the rendition for the sims 2 also um made a little island in sim city 4 that i definitely will include the post to that as well and uh her rules and things like that so again if you guys are interested in it let me know if this is something you can see yourself playing or let me know if this is something that you want to see kind of streamed once in a while like i could do like updates or you guys want to see it as like update videos or current like households and stuff i'm not very far into the challenge i've maybe played for like a couple of hours and stuff like that so yeah um again let me know what you guys think and uh if you guys want to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please do if you are new to the channel and you want to see more sims 2 content i have a ton of it over on you know my channel you can just hit subscribe and if you want to hit the little bell thing for notifications and i also have uh, some social media i have a twitter i have a um instagram i have a facebook page i have a pinterest where i pin all of not all of it but i pin a lot of my custom content i also have uh two simblers i have one for sims 2 and one for sims 4 again all of those links will be in the description below and i hope you guys did enjoy this i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and i hope to see you and i hope to speak to you in my next video guys thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye